Hi, my name is Russ Robert. I work for Soft Terrain Channel Manager here, and I'm here with Mohan J. Raman. Uh, he runs our IoT and analytic practice. Uh, so we've got Mohan in the room. We're going to ask him a little bit about IoT. Uh, I know that's a term that's thrown out in the industry a lot. Uh, it has a lot of different uh, flavors and different ways to approach IoT, but Mohan's going to talk a little bit today about what IoT is from his team's perspective and how he's helping some of our clients. So, Mohan? Uh, well, it's a connected world. We all know uh, there are many ways we are all uh, part of this uh, whole ecosystem, whether it's a connected home with your smart thermostat or a connected factory where your uh, machines are instrumented or your car that you're driving, which is uh, instrumented with a bunch of sensors and connectivity, which is pushing data to the uh, cloud. Uh, so IoT is essentially prevalent everywhere. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we have uh, different use cases where we help our customers in this uh, whole journey. Okay. Uh, well, so what, what are some of the use cases that where our clients have started uh, the journey, some of the pain points, where they were at, and what we did to help them overcome and get them to the point where they're really utilizing IoT in the proper fashion for uh, growth and revenue uh, efficiencies within their company? Sure, uh, I can give you an example of uh, one of the customer we are uh, continuously working with them for the last uh, one and a half years. Uh, one of this customer, a major uh, fuel delivery service provider, uh, they came to Softura with a specific uh, goal in mind. So they've got uh, different sets of uh, uh, machines on the field, which are essentially the uh, gas pipelines. Uh, they, are, they have propane uh, gas tanks which are already instrumented with a bunch of sensors. So they have liquid and gas? Yes, they okay. have both. And uh, they are already equipped with the sensors. And uh, they have uh, decided to go with certain sensor hardware company which is already instrumented. But okay. they all have different capabilities. Based on which generations of sensors they are using, they have capability to go all the way and give you the corrosion level in the pipes, the pressure, the fuel uh, remaining uh, real time with the time, uh, essentially it's a time series data of all this uh, data coming from the sensors. Okay. They have this uh, sensors put on those uh, uh, hardware on the field, but what they wanted to uh, take help from Softera was to build the whole connected ecosystem, connected platform on the cloud. Good, they had already made the choice uh, with Microsoft Azure, which okay. made our lot, uh, life a lot easier. We are Microsoft Gold Partner, you know. Uh, so uh, what we did for them is to build the entire pipeline, I call it data pipeline, like how you have a gas pipeline on the field. We created essentially the same virtual uh, digital pipeline on the cloud on Azure using Azure IoT Hub, uh, Event Hub, and then a long-term storage, short-term storage, running hot analytics, and cold analytics. So what's the difference between hot and cold analytics? So I would say this way, hot analytics is the data stream is coming into the cloud and you're running analytics as the data stream is flowing through that. Okay. Based on your uh, thresholds, if you want a notification when the fuel is running out so that you can dispatch your uh, service provider to get to the location before they run out of the gas. Okay. So that is something you're not really responding, it's not reactive, it is running actually as it happens. Real time. Real time, very real time. Cold analytics, you have your uh, historical data, which is stored in the long-term data repository. You're running analytics against the data set to probably do route optimization in future, to do forecasting so that you can plan your workforce ahead of time to make sure you know you are serving your customer uh, in an efficient way. So we help them to build this notification engine, this data pipeline, and also this hot cold analytics uh, you know, ecosystem. Okay, on the cold data too, sorry to interrupt, on the cold data, uh, historical data, would that also come to play with uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence? Absolutely. So this whole platform we built both uh, on the streaming side as well as which is the uh, hot analytics and also the cold analytics both have the capability to run machine learning workload. So you could run using uh, Spark, uh, your uh, you know machine learning models which you're creating in Python, deploy them. You could run on the code analytics where you can run it on HD insights. Uh, so the platform on both sides support uh, the ML load. Um, currently, we are in the process of you know ingesting this data, productionizing it, adding monitoring to this. The next step is obviously run into the ML so that we can help them with some uh, forecasting regression models to uh, plan their workforce better. Okay, so pre uh, Softura coming in and helping them with all of this uh, analytics in regards to capturing and then 
presenting the data and then allowing them to run more efficiently, it was a largely manual process and very inefficient. Yeah, it was a custom middleware writing into some kind of a, a blob storage, you know, it's a, like an FTP uh, type of solution. Really to get insight was a very uh, challenging task. Okay. Uh, here now you get a real-time insights, real-time notifications on SMS, email, uh, you know, bunch of notification. You can customize your templates, so it's all uh, now completely a connected ecosystem. The subsequent work we are uh, talking to the customer about is the customer portal for them, where they can have a dashboard view, real-time view of how their entire uh, uh, customer basis, you know, how they can plan their workforce, the route optimization, the fuel delivery efficiency, and the whole ecosystem. Okay, and I know that uh, I think we're also talking to them about uh, customer, customers communicating with them in, in various fashions as well, too, so, okay. Um, and we probably completed that work in a couple of days. No, I'm just joking. I know it took some time. Yeah, it, actually, uh, it's a good point you mentioned. Uh, you know, we have got accelerators. Uh, software is not, we're not in the business of creating products. We use the, we prefer that the customer uh, choose a platform as a service components. That way, you know, we can really accelerate the market. And good thing is the IoT use cases have so much in common. So we don't want to repeat the same plumbing work over and over for every customer. So we have glued all of them together as far as a connector platform is concerned with okay. the 8020 rule. So 80% is built in and then you know obviously based on the unique needs we always have the 20% right. last mile customization. So uh, those accelerators really help us to uh, you know deliver faster to the customer. Nobody has the appetite for a year long project these days right and you don't want to do quick and then fast roll out and then continuously iterate over it. So uh, a platform of this kind, you know, to ingest this data and this whole thing, and it's like, and we're talking about like four to six months to get this up and running fully in uh, production. Okay. All right. Well, that's great. That's all we wanted to do today was talk a little bit about uh, IoT and talk with Mohan. There's going to be more videos coming, more information coming your way. So that's Software Tech Talk, IoT with Mohan. Jay Raman, thank you, Mohan. Thank you. And uh, we'll present another topic uh, to you soon. Thank you.